Shop fix. It's for the love of woodworking. The next technique that I want to show you on the table saw is one of the more advanced techniques that I know, and that's cove cutting. You oftentimes find coves in cove molding for houses, and it's basically a semicircle in the wood. And it's super cool that you can actually create those on your own with a table saw. And I've often done this on picture frames and other decorative items like that. So to get started with a cove cut, you're gonna to wanna to remove the fence completely because we won't need it. Okay, so once you have your fence completely out of the way or removed from your table saw completely, which is ideal, we're gonna be removing the throat plate and then removing the riving knife. This is one of those rare circumstances that you actually won't be needing the riving knife. Now that we have the riving knife removed, we'll go ahead and place the throat plate back on. Okay, so now we have the rip fence removed off of the table saw or out of the way. We have a long straight edge to act as our new fence, which is gonna be going diagonally. We have the riving knife removed and the throat plate placed back on and the blade raised up just a little bit. Now we can arrange the fence and the piece of wood so that the wood passes through the blade and that cove or the semicircle is perfectly in the middle of the lumber. And you wanna make sure as you take passes and create this cove that there's wood on the left side and the right side still so that the wood actually has support on either side and you don't cut one of the edges out, that'll ruin your cove. So you have to make sure that the wood is balanced on either side. So there's some wood left on the left side and there's some wood left on the right side and the cove is being cut out in the center of the lumber. Now, after this is all set up, you're gonna to want to clamp this temporary fence onto your table saw in some manner. All right, so now our temporary fence is aligned properly and securely clamped to the table saw. So now we can begin our cove cut, but not until we lower the blade. So we're gonna lower the blade just so about a 16th or a little bit more than that is showing. So as you make the cove cut, you simply have to keep raising the blade and the cove will become deeper and deeper until it looks exactly how you envisioned. All right, by following those simple steps, you can create a cove just like this one. And so this piece would be great for a picture frame or cove molding or any decorative element for your woodworking projects. Now, that cove is not the only cove you can create. So you can see the apex is right in the center. So this is basically a perfect semicircle. However, you can change the apex of that circle and it makes it even more decorative. I have the bevel at 45 degrees, which will be the most drastic apex, and you'll definitely see the difference between this cove and the last cove that we just cut out. We wanna make sure that the blade is all the way lower down, and then raise it up just so that the teeth are showing, and then we'll make our first pass, and every pass after that, we'll just raise the blade up one full turn until we get the desired cove cut. You wanna make sure that the bevel is beveling towards the piece of wood, and that's gonna cut much better and much safer. The table saw is the most versatile tool in the wood shop, and I just really love how much you can do with it. Uh, I'll show you the difference between the semicircle cove and the beveled cove. So drastically different. I do tend to think that the beveled cove with the apex to one side makes it look really cool. These are very decorative. I wish you the best of luck on your future woodworking projects. Always stay safe on the table saw, and I'll see you in the next video. Shop Fix. It's for the love of woodworking.